morning class. Hi there. Um, um, have you guys ever used a word that your parents don't know? Like an acronym or like a kid slang word? Mm -hmm. Sure. Yes. What kind of words have you used? Um, things in math class that my parents don't understand, like acronyms or equations or different ways of speaking. Uh-huh. What about you? Um, like GTG is like got to go by uh -huh. texting. Right. What about you? Um, things like TTFN. Uh-huh. Did you know your parents can figure out what you're saying? Yes, how would they do that? By listening to what else you're saying and using context clues. That's right, that's right. So what are context clues? Um, if you don't know the word, you can use the surrounding words to try to figure out the word you don't know. That's exactly right, exactly right. So if you don't know words, you can use the information that you do know to figure out the word that you don't know. So these are the steps to using context clues. The first one is the synonym step, and this is when you find other words in the sentence that you do know that would help explain or be synonymous with the word that you don't know. And then you can define the word that you don't know. So, for example, in this sentence, Carla was exhausted, tired, and fagood. Mom, how would you figure out what fagood was? Well, it would probably be something parallel to exhausted and tired. Right, something synonymous with exhausted or tired. Yeah. Right, exactly right. So if your sentence doesn't have a synonym in it, it could have an antonym in it, which is something that is the opposite of the word that you don't know. Okay, so in this sentence, Zach was not exactly scalder. His lack of enthusiasm was caused by him missing the free throw. Julia, how would you figure out what scalder means? So it has to mean something, so he was not exactly scalder. So right. it was lack of enthusiasm, so he was enthusiastic. Unenthusiastic? Mm -hmm. That's right. That is exactly right. Okay, and so if there is no synonym and no antonym in the sentence, you can substitute the word that you don't know with a word that you do know that might make sense of, might make sense in the sentence. So when Sally got into her zip zab, she put her key in the ignition. Julie, how would you figure that out? Well, I know that um, she put her key in the ignition. Mm -hmm. So it must be like a boat or a car. Because you put your keys into the yeah. ignition in boats and cars? Yeah. That's right, exactly. So if there are no synonyms, no antonyms, and you can't substitute it for something that you do know, then you should read on. And when you read on, maybe the following sentences will tell you what the word meant, or it may not be that necessary for you to understand exactly what that word meant. And then if it turns out it is necessary and you cannot understand the paper or whatever you're reading because you don't know that word, then you should look up the word in a dictionary or ask someone who knows. Okay? Any questions? No? Okay, so now we're going to do an example as a class. Okay. So we're going to figure out what the word animosity means by using context clues from this sentence. Mom, will you read the sentence please for us? Sure. Rivals for the state championship felt great animosity towards each other. Whenever they ran into each other, they snarled. They snarled. Hmm. Okay. Julia, how would we use our context clues to figure out animosity? So you would look at the words around um, animosity and try to find if there are any synonyms or antonyms. So because you know that there are rivals, and that they, when they ran into each other, they snarled. Animosity probably means um, some sort of discomfort or... Dislike. Yeah. Dislike, you think? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Well, that is exactly right. Animosity does mean dislike. And so the steps that we used to get there were... Looking for synonyms. Looking for synonyms, right? Substituted. And we substituted, that's right. So we read on a little, then we looked for synonyms, and then we substituted. Right? All right. All right. Good job, guys. So I've come up with a song to help you guys remember the steps of using context clues. You know the song that goes, B is bananas, B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're using like that kind of tune to use this one. So I'm going to say it first and then you guys say it after a moment. So C is for context clues, S-A-S-R-L, that's it. C, C is, is for context, context clues, S-A-S-R-L, S-A-S-R-L, that's it. Awesome, okay. And then, do you know the, the chant that goes boom, chicka boom? Mm -hmm. Okay, so 
it's a repeat after me song, so I'm going to say the first part and then you say the next part. So I said an S synonym. I said an S synonym. I said an A antonym. I said an A antonym. I said an S substitute. I read on and I look up. I said an S substitute. I read on and I look up. Awesome. All right. Good job, guys.